What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to, well, you, you know what we're doing. You clicked on the video. You know, you see the title. You know what's happening. Oh, what up, hell of a dude? Man, this has been a hell of a dude kind of week. I think I've seen hell of a dude every day since his generosity. I think I kind of just want to take Volcanic Island here and see what happens. I like remand. I like brain freeze. I don't like brain freeze. I'm going to take Volcanic Island. Oh, I like an Azorius Signet. Nice, nice, safe Jeskai Signet. Basalt Monolith. It's all right, I guess. Celestia Signet. I'd rather have a color that's attached to our Volcanic Island. Ancestral Vision, all right. Just filling in for the other guy. Oh, Paladin Egan. Appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate it. I just saw an... Okay, I think this is early enough to take an Emrakul, and we also have Volcanic Island, so that's pretty nice. I just saw an article, and it says, Timothy Oliphant is potentially returning to the role of Raylan Givens in a new series from the team behind Justified, and I about lost my fucking mind. I was so excited. I was like, oh my god. Like, it's apparently taking place in Detroit... The team behind Justified is reuniting to develop an FX series based on the Elmore Leonard novel City Primeval High Noon in Detroit, with Timothy Oliphant potentially returning as Raylan Givens. If there's a Detroit-based Justified with, with Timothy Oliphant as the lead, I will lose my fucking mind. Justified is one of my top, like, three or four favorite shows. Oh, we got a Steam Vents and a Badlands here. I think we're just taking... Oh, Pluto Delta, too, actually. Pluto Delta's, like, having two Steam Vents. I haven't seen Justified, but that is the guy who plays Lassie. Lassie on Psych. I actually don't know that. Hold on. No, that is a completely different person. <clears throat> no, that is that is Timothy Omundson, apparently. Oh, a Spire Bluff Canal? They're just giving me all the all the co cool lands here. And we're just hoping we hit those. No, Timothy Oliphant uh looks significantly more like a cowboy. Like a like a like a lawman gunslinger. <clears throat> That's Timothy Oliphant. He was also in, um, he's in a lot of stuff. Wasn't Lassie played by a dog? <laughs> you know, I think so. I think that's, I think that is, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. All right. Hmm. Hmm. So I don't think we have any reason to be red, but I do think we have a decent reason to be black here. I'm gonna take this Duretti. Mom's spaghetti. Riffwing Cloud Skate seems fine. Mine's desire is nice here, but we're not doing the I gotta have to sneeze. Dude, I blew my nose this morning while I was like half asleep. Cause sometimes, you know, your nose gets stuffed and then you try to sleep and you're like, I can't I can't breathe. So I blew my nose. And it was like mono blood. And I didn't have a bloody nose or anything, but like the air is so dry that my nose was just apparently really dry and I just shot blood out of my nose and that was, that was just, just such good times, you know? And that freaked me out for a second, but then I was like, eh, it's just my nose, no big deal. <laughs> dogs don't look like dogs on TV, you have to use people. <laughs> oh, dear Jesus. Mono blood is something only a magic player would say. Yeah, I, I think if you if I said that to my like it's so funny because I think of that in the context of normal conversations. Like if I said that to my parents or to like, you know, a coworker that wasn't a magic coworker, if I had such a thing, like they would be like, What does mono blood mean? And I'd be like, Oh, let me explain it to you. It means only blood. All blood. I'll take a braid. A braid's a banger. Oh, Glorybringer came back. The Brain Freeze came back. These people have no respect. Utterly no respect. 
think Signet came back even. I'll just take Season Pyromancer. This guy could actually be pretty decent uh, at getting us to our relevant parts. <clears throat> Oh my god, Brett, there's so many fucking, there's so many parts in Justified that are amazing. And like, I would clip them and just watch those clips. I, there's so many things that I would do that with. <laughs> do you know how a firearm works? <laughs> oh man. I, I'm gonna, I'll, I'm gonna play this clip after the draft and mute it just so we don't, or like, uh, pause the video so we don't get like demonetized. Yeah, it's like Flame Slash. Yeah, I think I've seen Justified in total like probably five times, and I'm trying to get Katie to watch it with me. She watched the first episode and she wasn't hooked, and that's fine. I get it, but like, it's a pretty it's a pretty well received show. So, Oh, Splinter Twin. See, that's right up our alley. <clears throat> Bloodstained Mire, also very nice. I'm going to take the card that could potentially combo for us. Because we're on track to have something decent here. I, I mean, I'm only keeping Show and Tell in because I have Emrakul. And if I get a Gitaxian Probe, I might just play it. So, you know. Oh, Jason Mind Sculptor. Unfortunately, I have to pass Teferi again. And I likely won't get Teferi back again, but I'm not going to pass Jace the Mind Sculptor, so. He is better than all, as they say. This deck's looking pretty sweet so far. Mana base also not terrible. I would like an Underground. I would like for... Ooh, a Colagon's Command. A coca Colagon's Command. I do like a Colagon's Command, especially because it gets back like Pestermite or Splinter Twin if we get either one of those, and we have a good amount of time to get those. Yeah, I'm going to take Colagon's Command here. I, I think o Oko definitely overtook Jace uh, as the better Planeswalker for sure. Like, that's un unquestionable, I think. Um, but that doesn't make Jace worse. I read an article somewhere that said show and tell never ever works. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry. I'm going to take Pestermite here because that's a combo. If if you're curious what hell of a dude is referring to, this week I wrote about my my some cube suggestions. Um, there's definitely cards in the Magic Online cube that I'm like, what the fuck is this card still in here? And 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 why isn't this other card in here? And uh, you guys can check that out over at Cool Stuff today. It just went up. I put it in the in the chat. And um, yeah. Show and tell is definitely one of them. Like, I mean, it's it's cool. I get it. It has a cube feel, right? It's a vintage cube feel. I'm putting an Emrakul into play. It's crazy. That being said, it never works. We all know it never works. So, like, let's just replace it with something that does work or that's going to be cooler. Like, it's also like a last pick. Like, this wield, right? Like, Shut no, one, up and take my money. no one took this. Oh, get stimulated. Oh, nice. I appreciate you, Neon Tokyo. I'm taking this Tefri for sure. Was Trickbind on the list of cards that should be in? Of course I put Trickbind in. <laughs> Obviously. I look like an idiot. I like Arid Mesa here, actually. I like gold. I, I really like Goldspan Dragon, and I think it's it's a pretty decent pickup. But I think I'm going to go with the Arid Mesa because it does let us potentially play the Teferi here. Along with the... Oh, there's an Underground Sea. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's nice. That we can get with Delta. <clears throat> Without messing up our, or yeah, I mean, without messing up our blue. Oh, Casual Crusader, 365 bits, one for every day. Been working from home for a full year now. Thanks for all the YouTube content that has been keeping me entertained and sane during. Dude, I appreciate it. Thank you for the support, buddy. Y'all are good people. Y'all are some good people. I think I like y'all. Oh, Kiki Jiki. Ha <laughs> ha. Now we have Pestermite, Splinter Twin, and Kiki Jiki. We're so close to the friggin'. 
We're so close to the trifecta. The quadfecta? Were you in Japan for March 11th, 2011? I was in Fortunate Coworkers were there. What happened in March 11th? Oh, Brett with a gifted sub. My God, Brett has gifted 171 subs. That's unreal. That's an unreasonable amount of subs to be gifted. I mean, it's totally reasonable in the sense that I appreciate it and Brett is an amazing dude, but it's still very high and kind of kind of mind blowing to me. Um, let's take Wear Tear. We can play a Wear Tear. I might even main deck a wear tear. Who knows? You know, anything can happen. And now we have Azoria Signet and Arid Mesa. So if we get like a Tundra or a Plateau or even a, even a Scrubland, I guess. Scrubland's fine because we can get it with both of these. They were giving out iodine tablets at the embassy. A bunch of glasses. Glass fell all over me. I bugged out to Okayama during the 24 hours when the government was lying and nobody knew the reactor. Oh! The other Teferi came back? What? I really want to go back and look at what was in this pack because Overgrown Tomb is also in here. And I never thought both Teferi and Overgrown Tomb would still be in that pack. Lightning Bolt is a nice pickup here. Oh, Birthing Pod? This is a sweet one. We can definitely take a Birthing Pod here. That one always works. Just kidding. It's in my article as one of the cards that never works. Because it just doesn't. Like, it's so hard to get curves. Like, even look at our deck. Obviously, we're not building around Birthing Pod, but, like, no four drops, two five drops, no two drops. <laughs> like, there's just, like, it's so hard to make a curve with enough creatures to actually, like, enable a Birthing Pod strategy. Well, there's no Ancestral Recall, and that's unfortunate. Gitaxian Probe's kind of like Ancestral Recall. <sighs> Don't hate Control Magic. Probe is nice because if we get, like, Show and Tell or Sneak Attack, or, like, Through the Breach, like, it lets us know that it's safe to, to go about our business, you know? Sea Chrome Coast is likely going to table. I think I'm actually going to take the Probe. Probe might table as well, but it's a card I actively want from a deck. And I rarely actively want Probe because I just, I like cards that do stuff. Like, this is taking the spot of another card, like Coligon's Command, that does something. I get the value of it. It's free. It gives you information. It lets you essentially play a smaller deck. Instead of playing 40 cards, you can play 39 cards in one Probe. And that's like just playing 39 cards. That being said, I like having lots of cards. Thanks for the awesome content on YouTube and Twitch. Keep it up. Dude. Marcel, thank you so much for, the, for saying so. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the support, buddy. I'm going to take Bribbery. <laughs> he took Probe. Storm confirmed. Yeah, everybody knows that. Did you see in the Discord channel how badly the client failed me? No, I didn't. I'd like to, though. I'd like to see that. I'd like to see it. So right now, we only have two black sources for these two black cards. I mean, Demonic Tutor is really good. Ponder's great, but I think D Tutor's just stronger when we have multiple combos going on. I'm also going to take this out. Tundra, Deceiver Exarch, and Sacred Foundry. Oh my gravy. I think we just have to take Exarch here, right? Like, we're going all in on the combo. That gives us Kiki Jiki, Splinter Twin, Pestermite, and Deceiver Exarch. And ideally, one of these comes back. Yeah. I mean, that's just... That's just how it works. How... <laughs> Oh, Lil Zelly. The only thing missing is what? What'd you say, Meteor Magic Man? <laughs> what was that? Uh, taking it. Is it Signet? Oh, baby. That's a nice one. We can also take Lava Claw Reaches. So we are taking the Emrakul out at this, at this juncture. I kind of like Black Source. Yeah, we literally have the full Monty with Kiki, Zealous, Splinter. The only thing we're missing is a Resto at this point. That's the only one that, like... I think it's actually Lava Claw Reaches here. We already have one Signet. I'd rather have more black sources to consistently cast our black cards.
Oh, Rakdos Signet actually helps a ton here. Hmm. This pack's nice. It's like Mono Jeskai over here with a Yawgmoth's Will. Jeez. I think it's Rakdos Signet here. That's nice because we have two Signets that produce all four colors of our deck. Could also play Solemn. Solemn's going to encourage me to play one of each basic, but I might be doing that anyway because I have Arid Mesa. I think we're going with Signet. I think I'd just rather have a Signet here. Kid Cabbage, welcome back, buddy. 40 months. Really appreciate it, my dude. I mean... Apparition's good, but we're not going to be playing it. I'm just going to take the Ulamog here. I don't know. I don't think anything in, in this pack is particularly good for us. Look, yeah, there's a Sea Chrome Coast. Exactly what we were looking for. We do hope, I, I'm really hoping one of the Tundras or the Sacred Foundry come back. Our mana base is looking hot. This is 23 cards. I think this is probably the deck. Nahiri plus Emrakul is fine, yeah, but I mean, like, I don't think I want to, like, if I only have one thing that interacts with Emrakul, I don't care. <laughs> I think I'd rather just have, I'd rather stick to the other. Come on. Come on, Daddy needs one more fetch land. Daddy didn't get it. Swords of Plasher is fine. That's unfortunate. I mean, our deck is still very good. <laughs> Oh, Duretti? I mean, all right, I'll take a Duretti. Sure. I mean, I might actually like Duretti over Seasoned Pyromancer, to be quite honest. Double Durettis. I'll take a Krark. Oh, and Incinerate. Wow, there's like a bunch of like red cards that are just not getting picked up here. Um... I think this deck looks very sweet. I mean, I do like Season Pyromancer. I really hate having two big fat Eldrazi's and no way to, to smash my opponent's face with them. All colors but green for St. Pat. That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> you know, I hadn't considered that. So we're going to need one planes, which gives us one, two, th three, four sources of white for like two white cards. Um, I think that's fine. I think we can take wear tear out. We already have a braid. I think swords might be better than like flame slash. My only concern is it's a third white card, but I think that should be fine. We have a lot of selection here, especially with a Duretti. I would say Glorybringer out, but I think it's just very good. We also have Chain Lightning, Flame Slash, Incinerate, Lightning Helix. We have a lot of burn spells. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 13, 14. If we draw all of our burn, we have uh, 15, 16 points of burn. That's actually kind of funny. Thank you. Grandma Boofy, welcome back. Really appreciate the support. All right, let's grab these guys. Grandma Boofy, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Um, So black we have, let's go. One, two. Okay, we're definitely adding one white because otherwise our Arid Mesa never gets white. 
Okay, so this would be four, five, six, seven. Well, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is ten blue. Very good. Red, we have four. Five. Actually, this gets everything, doesn't it? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, three. Oh, the signets too. Yeah, this seems good. This is nice. Wait, grandma is a dude? I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? It's not up to me. I'll never tell. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we did it. We found Match on Match.com. Um, oh boy, this is a hand. If we don't hit a white, then we actually have six cards. You know what? Ugh. Okay, I'll do it. It's got a pester mine. We have half the combo. What could go wrong, guys? Oh, they're double queuing in a call time competitive sealed league. Good, 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 good. This should be fun. Everyone's going to have a good time. So we're going to demonic tutor. So you drew a black card and a white card, but have no white or black mana. Let's talk about that. Yeah, I definitely kept this hand with the, with the notion that if we draw like twin or Kiki Jiki, like we're good. Oh, God. I never understand the enjoyment of playing multiple like matches at the same time. Like how it doesn't seem fun. It just seems like work. Did you guys see our opponent's name? Ha! Got him! Checks out. Worn Power Stone, huh? Do we just slap a Kiki Jiki then? Or a, a, a Pester Mite? We did not have it. They got lucky. They got so lucky. In hindsight, we had a 1 in 31%. A 1 in 31 chance, not a 1 in 31% chance. That doesn't make any sense. What is this? Scarab God? Mind twist for 5, huh? Okie dokie. So long, hand. Oh, that was, this has been a fun game. This fun game brought to you by Mind Twist and all spells that we can't cast. We literally have like five white and black cards in our deck. We drew three of them. Oh. that That's not going to do what you think it does, actually. Yeah, okay. Okay. 
I mean, they still need to find an answer for our Pester Maya. Chokes on them. We were in top deck mode anyway. Gotti. Nice. Throw that dude out there. Seems good. Oh, yeah. Do that. I mean, they just made my pester might better, right? Like. Yeah, I'm like, this is still going to copy. Well, <laughs> that's a thing, all right. They have one card. So, we well, got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So they literally can activate Urza three times if they'd like. That has to, that feels correct. There's one. Spin the wheel two more times. See, now they can use this instead of this and still attack for six. There you go. I like, use those food, buddy. You can actually tap two of your food to sack one of your food. No, you can't. You have to sack. You have to tap it. I'm like, I think it's like, is, do you have to tap clues in order to sack them? Oof. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Um God, they're probably gonna get Kiki Juki, right? Because that minimizes our chances. I'm trying to think if it's worth conceding here to that. It's weird that you have to tap food, but you don't have to tap clues or gold, which are very similar in design. Yeah, all right, whatever. You can get it. Glory bringer. Oh, I like that. It's funny that we still haven't hit a black or a white mana source yet. <laughs> but I assume we will. Right now, so. One more Urza? Huh, fuck. Alright, well. That is a thing, I guess. Oh, good. Yep, that'll do. Let's see our next card. Probe into bribery. That would have been good. Yeah, what can you do? All right. Good times, good times. 
I think we're going to bring Flame Slash back because it does kill uh, your boy. Your boy being uh, Urza. I'll take Pyromancer out. I don't foresee him doing much here. I'm going to keep this. This is it. This is the hand, right? Like, we got Splinter Twin, Kiki Jiki, and Mr. Mite. Man, if we had a Tundra, uh, it'd be so good. Now we're getting a white for sure, because then any land lets us play Teferi on three. Oh, I'll crack my embrace of response. Now we're cracking about the same time. Oh, boy. Mutual bases. Well, shooty McBooties. I kind of want to land here. But I also feel like I can wait and kind of deny them blue. Yep. Okay, so we didn't lose a land drop. If we get hit land into Signet, it's actually... Oh, okay. Well, you got it. You coming down next turn? Oh yeah. So next time we can play double signet or we can play Rakdos signet Duretti if we hit a land. You got it. Oh, goody. Oh, goody. You got it. Hmm. I don't think bouncing this guy does anything because we're not going to take advantage of what they take this turn. I'm actually just going to pass here because we can still block the Oko. Like if they make a 3-3, three, three, we can just block it keep our Teferi alive, which is kind of a big deal. <sighs> bribery. Always bribery. Oh, they're just going to mind twist my whole hand. Every game. Every game. Cool. Play with no cards in your hand, dipshit. Okie dokie. That's infuriating. And unwinnable when they have Oko Mind Twist. Seems good. Boy, nothing pulls you out of a game and makes you give a shit less than fucking getting your whole hand mind twisted both games you play. It's kind of infuriating. Oh, good. A Consecrated Sphinx. That's not... Cool. Yep, awesome. Awesome match. 
what do you got, seven combo pieces in your deck? Cool, I'll just make you mind twist them both games so that you actually can't do anything. Fun and interactive magic. I mean, if mind twist wasn't so grossly inconsistent, I think it didn't have a place in the cube, but like, you know, when it hits, it fucking hits. And then, you know, every time your opponent can draw it every game, that's just kind of cool. What can you do? I mean, if there are, if there was ever a 3-0 deck, I would think it was the Splinter Twin, Kiki Jiki, Pestermite, Zealous Con Conscripts, Deceiver Exarc, Teferi, Teferi, Jace deck. Um, with bribery, don't forget. Thank you. There's also a bribery in here. <laughs> so we can't get a black or a blue with this, correct? No, we can get a... Yes, we can get a Volcanic Island. Oh, Paladin, thank you for the resub, buddy. Six months. Time flies when you're having sub babies. I'm going to hold off on cracking this, though, in case we just want to get a... In case we end up drawing a white source or a blue source. Interesting. What the fuck? I have never seen that happen before in my life. Well, that is shocking. What? Whenever a vehicle you control does come to display, that player exiles that many cards from the top of their library. You may choose lands. You may play lands from among them as long as they remain exiled. Sure. I think we can discard Duretti. You have to discard two cards, right? Uh... <sighs> like, I think we can just play Pestermite here. Against this deck, I don't think we're going to have a tremendously hard time. Because I, I don't have a problem discarding Duretti, but these two are very, very powerful. So I, I kind of want to discard Duretti and whatever whatever we draw to hit a land drop. You got it. 3-3 three, three, Stony Boy. Okay. Well, if we hit another red source and they tap out, or if we hit another land in general and they tap out, we get to kill them. So that's kind of cool. That's a thing I enjoy. Well, we did not. <laughs> what do you got? Three five drops? At four five drops in your hand, dipshit? Sounds good. All right. Well, you enjoy that. Oh, dear God. Man, if it wasn't for bad luck, we'd have no luck at all, guys. <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully I can just kill you. Does require one untapped land. Untapped land. Anybody? Anybody? Literally nobody. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okie dokie. One untapped land. Back-to-back -back consecrated Sphinx decks. Okie dokie. It's a good way to start the day. <laughs> Fucking God. <laughs> oh, fucking incredible, dude. 
Absolutely incredible. Good times. Oh, wonderful. Mm, boy. Oh, Euro. Metal worker. These creatures are fucking terrible. Wow. Oh, two decks, back to back decks with bribery and consecrated sphinx in them. <sighs> wow. Oh, Gilded Goose. Oh, we got a... Hey, guys, Ancestral Recall and Mox Emerald also in the deck, don't forget. Definitely worth uh, keeping that in mind. Wow. Good luck. Couldn't hit a fifth land drop in four turns? Oh, that's too bad. Bribery and all my good creatures are already in play? Well, that's too bad. I was able to kill your Pestermite the turn before you combo? Well, that's too bad. Man. Man, oh man. Mm -hmm. You got it. Oh, good. A Polucranos. Well, it's nice to see that and know exactly why we're not going to be able to win next turn. They have five mana so they can deal two to something. Sure. No, because then they just replay Polychronos, and then when we try to combo, they kill Kiki Jiki. Like, we have to actually, we're going to actually Zealous Conscripts the Polychronos, and then try to... Let me guess, more lands? Fantastic. Fantastic. Five, one, two, three, four. We're actually one mana shy of just winning this turn, but then they still have Polychronos, so. We're not out of the woods yet. Maybe we could have won if we took Cobra before land drop. No, because they have Polychronos. Like, guys, you understand, like, they have Polychronos. They can just literally activate it for two and kill Kiki Jiki. Like. Like, as long as they have Polychronos, we're not winning this game. Now we have monstrous Polychronos. And gotten rid of it. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, we're just going to try to kill Garrick here. Oh, 
Oh, I definitely think we still have a chance. We haven't seen too many interactive elements from their deck, so like if we just Kiki Jiki next turn. I mean, I'm sure they're going to draw bribery, and then they're going to bribery us and take our glory bringer. Mana Vault 2, huh? Wow, Mana Vault, Mox, Emerald, Ancestral Recall, bribery. There's the bribery. <laughs> they're going to bribery, get our glory bringer, and kill our zealous conscripts. Cool. Deceiver Exarch, Pestermite, Zealous Conscripts. Seems good. You know what? Fuck this. <laughs> uh, one missed Landar for three turns cost us this game. I mean, like, uh, just like fucking flabbergasted. It's kind of unreal. Yeah, I mean, like, I thought when I had these cards in our deck that we'd have a great shot at winning games, but it turns out I was incorrect because your opponent gets to go mind twist, mind twist, miss five land drops. I remember when there was so much joy and hope when we were drafting this deck such a long time ago now. It feels like a lifetime ago. Sure. I mean, on the bright side, it seemed like they have very little interaction, so I'm hitting F6. I don't know why it's, like, asking me to go to different phases and stuff. Yeah, okay, sure. Hmm. Well, can we just do it? Can we just do it one time and redeem ourselves? Actually, that's probably what we're going to do here instead, just to be safe. Destroy an artifact. That seems really good. <laughs> you got it. Grim Monolith, too. Holy shit, this deck. Mox, Mox Diamond, Mox Emerald, Grim Monolith, Mana Vault. Good fucking gravy, dude. You know what? Sure. I don't care. Jesus, what a deck. Yep, get your Grim Money. Oh, goody. Oh, goody. All right, so now they're on mono, mono brown mana. Cool. Got him. Oh, Gotti. <laughs> Jesus. What a nightmare. What an actual nightmare come to life. 
Maybe we should just be playing seething songs so that when we're wrong with three, we get the five, you know? In before dismember. Buddy, that ain't even unreasonable. If I had a million dollars. Keep this hand. We got the white and the blue. We just need the red. I want to kill that bird. Oh, I like that. That was the hero we need. Although you'd think I, I'm only running like 15 lands in this deck. Do you think a fixed resources are magically a good thing or would it make it degenerate? Um, I don't think it's a I don't think it's a possibility by any means. I think magic is far too deep in its own resource system that you cannot actually change it. And I think the game right now is designed to have a, a non-fixed resource system. So it's really hard to say. It's a difficult it's a difficult question to answer. Okay. I'm going to be honest. We need one red, and I'm kind of tempted to Pestermite. Untap Blue Land, or Deceiver Exarch, because it's harder to kill. Actually, maybe we just Tefri. No, I want this guy on the board, because if we hit any red... I mean, if they use two mana to update the tree speaker, I'm definitely either tapping it or killing it. I think tapping it is better here. Oh, big daddy Tefs. Land, red land. Incinerate. Hmm. We have decisions here. I think we just... Get in there. <laughs> I'd like to see April's run on the donation thing since you're already late for Hey, buddy, listen, if you want to help with March's run, you're more than welcome to. Whatever's happening here, I'm not a fan of it. That's fine. I don't care about that. I lied. Red source. Well, gr good gravy, man. I've played Cosima like three times. And I think it was fine every time. Like usually it draws between two and three cards. It's, I mean, like, if it's very similar to, like, Ancestral Vision, right? Like, if you if you look at it that way, and then you get a big creature out of it, and you can also kind of customize it, whether you want to draw two cards, four cards. Oh, 
Well, it's more like a build your own ancestral vision, but yeah, similar. Oh, what up, Badger? That actually seemed pretty decent as far as draws go. Badger, what time is it over there? I feel like I should know this by now, but I never do. Polychronos, and you can shoot for one? Okay. Okay. Sure. Sure, let them get in there. Let them eat cake. Oh, they're just attacking me with both? Sure. Uh, no blocks. This is actually... I mean, this gives us a good shot to win here. Maybe. Not that good. Fuck! I hate these fucking lands, man! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like it's, I, I have to actually get rid of this because like, otherwise they can, they can just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, deal four. How can we flash in Kiki Jiki? That is not a thing. We also don't get a combat step if we do that, so. I mean, like, the, this isn't Teferi Mage of Zalfir. Like, we don't, get to, we don't get to just flash in creatures whenever we want. Magic has rules! One, two, three, four, five. We'll have six, a sixth mana. One, two, three. Oh, God. This is our only concern, I think. I think we just have to pass. We wait for them to do this, and then they can't do it to both. Eh, they can still do it with the Kiki Jiki, though. I mean, sacking the Signet seems like one of our only answers, to be honest. And we just have to draw. We still have to draw just like one more red source. Choose an artifact or creature. This permanent will be destroyed. Yeah, it just had to be done, unfortunately. And we still get to keep up Pestermite. What? Why didn't it untap the planes? Did you guys not see me click the planes? What is... Oh my god, I can't even deal with this bullshit. This client is terrible. Oh my god, every fucking game you're going to bribery me? Get out of here. Oh, 
Oh, they didn't attack at all. Okay, so if we can just hit a red source. If we can just hit a red source. <sighs> okay. Oh, they can't interact with us, so never mind. This is just game. Oh my god. I need to take more ibuprofen after this nonsense. This whole thing is nerve-wracking. Can I not play against bribery? Uh, four pieces of power. What was the other card that both decks had? Both decks had bribery. Both decks had... Did they both have Oko? I don't know, man. Badger, I'm not even, I couldn't even pay attention to your facts just because I'm like so tilted right now and like so uh, on edge from these two matches so far. Hungry for subs? Badger, I'm always hungry for subs. Hold me back up and, oh God. Do I, you know when you have a headache, but like it kind of radiates down into your neck and like you just feel like really tense? Okay. Always on a match. A priest, a pastor, and a rabbit entered a clinic to donate blood. The nurse asked the rabbit, what's your blood type? I'm probably a type O. Thank you. So, I'm probably a type O. Badger, thank, thank you. you for the freaking gifted subs. <laughs> oh, man. I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. I was like, a rabbit, huh? That's an interesting twist. Oh, it's all coming together now. Okay, fact of the day, during the plague of 1630, some citizens of Milan took pistols with them when going outside so that others would keep proper distance. Wow, Thank that's you. actually kind of funny. Wow. 400 years later, nothing's changed. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Bro, can you not stand so close to me when you're picking out your fucking tomato sauce? There's a pandemic going on. Thank you. Oh, I like that. Can we get a white source with that? I don't think so. Thank you. We can get a black source. Thank you. Sounds like something Americans should do to actually social distance, but instead of pistols, we can use sticks. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, the problem is you have a bunch of Americans that just want to use pistols because they like feeling like cowboys. I'm, I'm going to protect myself. Really? Are you in danger? Are you in constant danger all the time? I don't know. In, 20, in a 2020 study, African gray parrots were trained to exchange metal rings for treats. They were then divided into two groups. One was given 10 rings. The other was given none. With no promise of reward, parrots from the first group shared their rings with birds from the second. Oh my God, that's amazing. I think they've done a ton of studies where they find out that... that Animals in the animal kingdom are incredibly giving and generous. I think rats, there was a similar experiment done with rats where like rats with no benefit to themselves will share like things they've gotten. Hey there, Frank opponent just DM'd me and said he's going to just attack with Emrakul next turn. <laughs> wow, that's good to know. 
That's good to know. Last fact of the day. To clean out sea turtles after oil spills, rescuers feed them mayonnaise. That's that's actually really interesting. Is that true? <laughs> getting closer to being high definition in here. Badger says getting closer to being high definition after he's donated 1,053 subs. As you try to get to 1080. That's actually hilarious. Oh, man, we have a good time. Show me what you've got. See, it just says look at their hand. I'm not sure it's going to show up here because it doesn't say burning carn mere planes. It doesn't say reveal. Oh, all right. Good. How nice. Still nothing to play here. So we're going to play a Delta. Probably get an underground if we don't see a white source. Yeah, underground is fine. It keeps our options open. Well, they don't have double red for burning. They can play Battle Sphere this turn, which is pretty rough. Ten eighty is a lot of subs, Badger. I don't actually. That's actually insane, dude. I really appreciate you. That's ridiculous. I am too literal. <laughs> On this day in 1662, the first public... This is double 1660 quotes, or uh, facts, isn't it? The other one was 1660 as well. 1630. 1600s are popular today. On this day in 1662, the first public bus service begins. Promoted by Blaise Pascal, operates in Paris as the Carrosses a cinq sous until 1675. I... I took two years of French in college, and I don't remember enough to not feel bad about that pronunciation. So, um, I'm going to give you Azorius Signet because that's significantly less scary. So, you know. So now your hand is Battlesphere Burning Azorius Signet. You've played this and this. Unfortunately, we just have no plan. Our deck seems to have a lot of five drops, but we always draw them. We've always had at least three five drops in our hand. Really? Interesting. You're trading one mana for two. Oh, well, that makes sense. I can I can understand that. Our opponent's probably like, wow, our opponent, my, my opponent's not doing anything. And I'm over here like, yeah, that's correct. So we know the two cards in your hand. That's decent. Do you Jace here? What do you get rid of? Probably the card that's not one of these. Oh, red source. That's good. On this day in 1837, Grover Cleveland, 22nd and 24th U.S. President, was born in Caldwell, New Jersey. Happy birthday, Grover Cleveland. You can have a coast. This feels like, I mean, like they have through the breach. I feel like we're actually going to be able to bribery to some, to some effect here. And we know exactly what they have in hand. This actually could be pretty good. It is not Thursday here. Oh my God. All these on this day was for tomorrow. 
Oh my god. Oh my on this days. <laughs> Bazar, I wonder how many on this days you did that were for your day, not our day. That's, yeah, it's, it's March 17th cur currently. I think you're on March 18th. <laughs> oh man. All this time, Badger should have been like tomorrow in history. Oh, the old second main. Oh, God. They're going to hit mana drain. You ready? Now I have to unlearn it all. Oh, what's happening? Whatever it is, I don't like it. Okay. Oh, they're going to battle sphere now. Sure. Well, that's something, I guess. Show me what you got. It's Emrakul. The Aeon's torn. Do 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 do. See, that's a bad. That's a boy. That's a bad boy. Once you see through the breach, you're like, okay, you probably have Emrakul. So they get two draws. Technically three with Karn, but we get a little more control over that one. It's a boy, are you sure? Frank, are you? No. No, I'm not. I'm actually positive it is not. Emrakul is actually a uh, female. And I apologize for misgendering. That was not my intention. I used boy in the generic sense. Could have said big girl, I guess. That probably would have had the same effect. So, that was my faux pas. And uh, I apologize to Emrakul as well. Emrakul is a thick girl. You're right. Isn't she? <laughs> yes, she is. What a good girl. You know, like a pet. I think if I was a opponent, I might have scooped if I had no way of... Oh, I mean, like, you have three draws, right? Like, you have the draw from Jace... You have the draw for the turn, and then you have Karn. So they're doing some nonsense here. That's good. Four, five, six, seven mana. Reach. Why did they tap both of those? I don't understand. Breach. Uh, planes. Planes. Island. Karn. Mirror. Emrakul. Like these are the things. These are the things I know about. Breach. Planes. Plane. Island. Karn. Mirror. Emrakul. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven. Oh, burning? Do we know burning? Yeah. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, there was a Jace. So they discarded Island Plains. Jace. So next time they're going to untap this, this, and this. That's three mana. I mean, we know they have Through the Breach. 
over oh they put through the breach in their hand so that's kind of what they're going for yes let us discard let us discard a glory bringer no i said no can't unselect that huh uh, once i click it it's over sweet and red and blue cool that's nice it's nice that i have no no way to undo <laughs> Good times. Well, I accidentally clicked it. Too bad. You're stuck with it now. Well, now they have four mana, so they're... So close to through the breaching. They played another planes, which we knew about. Now they played a Karn. <sighs> so next turn they just get to Emrakul us. We have nothing to do. We gave them the Emrakul. Sounds good. Nice. Definitely bringing this in. Hmm. Uh, if you can explain to me how we're going to cast Massacre Worm, I would love to hear it. I am very interested in hearing that. Ah, show and tell. Yes, 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 yes. Correct. Goblin shark dwellers. <laughs> oh my god, I am sorry. Yeah, I guess if we hit three of our four black sources, we're good to go. Nailed it. You know what? We're putting Seething Song in instead of Glory Bringer. It just gives us another way to win on turn four with like a Zealous Conscripts or a Kiki Jiki. Maybe not a Zealous Conscripts. I might have made that up. But either way. Oh, we, and this is nice because they have Wear Terror, Colagon's Command, and a Braid. So I have a Demonic Tutor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He probably does only bring shame to his people. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. Some interesting news. Training here to, comp to compete in the World Masters Games next year. You are? That's actually amazing. I mean, your strength training has definitely been going quite well, so that I, I could definitely see it. Dude, Badger, that sounds insane. And it's in Japan, so win-win for you. Dude, keep me posted. That sounds amazing. And I'd love to actually watch, like, if it happens, I'd love to watch it happen. I want to watch it happen.
We should go. That'd be sick, actually. Oh, I like that a lot. It's your boy. Jiminy Exarch. I'm going to add three in response. They didn't. Good for them. Good for them. We also have a Teferi while they have an Ancestral Vision. That's pretty cool. I mean, like, this is a situation, again, where if we have Kiki Jiki, we can Seething Song into Kiki Jiki. Or we can Seething Song into Splinter Twin. <coughs> And that seems like a weird choice when you have, we both have two mana now. So wait, can, we can go Demonic Tutor for Kiki Jiki, and then any land lets us Seething Song into Kiki Jiki. Well, I wish I could close this. <laughs> Land. Nice. Nice. Oh, let's do it the other way. Seething song already coming in clutch, boy. Gotti. Well, this is how we do it. <laughs> Man, seething song OP. We didn't see any counter spells, so. Uh 
I want to be in the room where it happens, the room where it happens. Casual Crusader, thank you so much for the bits, buddy. I think I can get a teamer stip in the queue. Let me see. Hold on. Actually, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Casual Crusader, I actually have a stip from you. Draft whatever your inter interpretation of teamer tempo is. Teamer is preferred, but is it a Simic or cool too? I don't need to be in chat. I'll catch it on YouTube. Yeah, I mean, do you care if it's tempo or not? Because I feel like it's harder in this cube to be tempo, but I'll definitely put this up here. And I'll, I'll owe you a second one for whatever you want. I'll keep this. When are we doing the flying step? Flyers, another part of manifesting God of Sacreds. Um, I was, I was saving these steps for closer to the end, but I'll probably start doing some. I'll start doing some tomorrow. How's that? This is still our first draft. Jesus, this thing is taking forever. Blue Delta cannot get us a white. Oh, God, I'm so... That Tundra would have been so good. It turned Arid Mason into blue and a Polluted Delta into a, a white. Wow, turn the old turn one Emery, huh? That's a good one. And they hit nothing and put it through the breach in the bin. Perfect. Beautiful. It's awkward that we have a Swamp and a Polluted Delta, but this does get a Volcanic Island for us. So I'll just get the Volk. Suddenly, Colagon's command also would be MVP here. I'm just going to say draft teamer. Draft teamer deal. Oh, wow. We're just getting in there with Emery. Aggressive. Mm-hmm. That is interesting. I feel like, I mean, like, if we just kill this, they can just Emery, I get it back, so I'm not really super concerned with... I might do it now, because then it just kind of wastes their turn here. I want to see Stipper Draft only lands, but when there are no lands in packs, you have to let the computer auto-draft for you. That sounds terrible. Uh, steps like that are, are usually not that fun because you're, you you don't have any control. There's no decision-making. Plus, there's so many cards you can get. Like, you can end up with a deck with, like, Through the Breach and no... Cr <laughs> oh, okay. Well, this is how we're going to end this draft, I guess. Unless they have a one... Oh, my jeez! Oh, that's amazing. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Brett, thank you for the gifted subs. Badger, thank you for the gifted subs. Everyone else, thank you so much. Casual Crusader, thank you for the bits. Really appreciate you guys. You're all freaking wonderful. This deck should have been a 3-0, but that's okay. Seething Song was very, very good. 
I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.